Remarkable scenes. Mm -hmm. That's that's difficult. Um, yeah. that is difficult. I don't know. I don't know if it's a particular scene for me, but the whole experience of going to to the set on a helicopter yeah. and shooting up on a glacier where people there are no people but crew. Yeah. Um, and then there's like a goat whisperer. Or was mm -hmm. it like it was just everything was new to me, and so I really enjoyed that section of our shoot. Yeah. Um, most. Yeah, I would definitely agree with the, the glacier. It's not something that maybe I would have ever experienced yeah. if we didn't do it um, on the show. The most difficult would just be the elements that came with being on the glacier or in the desert, you know, dodging cacti. It was like jumping cacti or something. I don't like, know, but they would just stick. We had these like guards yeah. on our legs because they just, it was like they were jumping up and all over you. Yeah. Um, you would see like the crew holding the camera and like cacti. Yeah. Cac cactuses? Is it cacti? Cacti. cacti would like go sticking into their legs. It was like, oh my yeah. god, I want to take that out for him. Yeah. Um, super but yeah, weird. No, it was pretty hard. Yeah. <laughs> oh, wow. No. You're not getting I, out of it. No, I, I agree with all the all the all those answers. But what about the pencil shavings? No. Talk about it. No. Come let's on. Not, let's mm. not go there. <laughs> oh, okay, fine. Uh, it, it, didn't, it didn't make. It didn't make it in the final episode i'm um, not the final episode in the, the final cut, cut the final cut but i i went through like a pool of pencil shavings um that was you never get to do that so that's that was that was great it was not great because he inhaled no, it no it was, was great it was great it was oh. great uh. okay What's been your most, what's been your favorite part of the show? When I was working with you on, on trying to figure Lee's show out, <laughs> yeah. you know, and then taking it to the guys and saying, what do you think? Um, I felt that that was the most important thing to do uh, that we've done uh, yeah. in terms of get, getting, getting started down the right track. Uh, who is this guy? What, where's he going to go? Where did he come from? And doing that, doing that with you I've, I've actually never done that really with much with uh, with another actor but i've never played <laughs> the same, the same role <laughs> <laughs> with, you know. so that was fun i mean yeah. I actually you know we had to do a lot of long distance and on the phone and stuff yeah but um <laughs> i don't know our, our sensibilities did seem to come together there that was that was that was really fun it's a lot like herding cats sir if cats had geiger counters and thought they were smarter than you my colleagues Dr. Mira, William Randa. I think the most remarkable, uh, it was all remarkable, I think, looking back. But for me, the one that mm, held a lot of meaning was the bikini at all scene as a Japanese person. Getting to play that, you know, and without, you know, sort of spelling it out, but just, you know, in a short scene sort of bring it back to the origin of the character like that was to be able to do that was such an honor and a, yeah so it meant a lot to me to be able to play that scene as this character being on the inside the ss lawton they built this stage on a gimbal so the whole thing could go to and fro as if a monster is shaking it and we're getting rattled back and forth and like I'm trapped under a ladder and I have to imagine a giant claw scraping across me. Um, and it was just, it was a lot. It was physical, it was emotional. Um, and I've never done anything like that uh, on camera. And so that was just, it was a lot of fun, but it was like, is this working? Is this believable, you know? end of the first episode where I fall to my death. Um, I had to do that on a wire over and over. I don't know why I said yes to that, but I did. And so every time they would take me up, I would have them wait until the very last minute before they dropped me, because if I'm up there for more than two seconds, I'm probably gonna have a panic attack. So, you know, it was like up, down, up, down, you know? So it was extreme exposure therapy in a way. And I think I'm like better now but I wouldn't, you know, test it or anything, yeah. Give me your hand! She's reaching, she's reaching. Give, Give me your hand! Pull! And three, two, one, drop! No! I mean, you know, there's a lot, like, uh, 
because we've been asked these kind of questions before and like for me I wouldn't say that there's one or another that specifically stands out or but what's interesting is and particularly because what's interesting is with every episode it feels like a new adventure somehow so and there's a, a of course there's a narrative like a through line throughout the whole show obviously but every episode still feels like a whole entirely different kind of adventure so it did also feel like going on a different adventure every time the characters go from one country to another we went from various types of locations from like busy tokyo to like middle of nowhere desert and each of those you know uh sets or 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 locations uh, present different challenges um But there's just a lot of uh, excitement all around, like, you know, um, I've shared like some really, I love the first scenes that uh, Joe and I shot together, which was that you see at the beginning in episode two, when we are in in the house, like uh, at Kentaro's house. And this was the very first day of the whole show, you know, the first scene, the first day for everybody involved. And that was very special. Um, and then when Kurt Russell arrived as well, like working with him, and uh, it's like, yeah. I, I think well, some you'll have to probably release a bit later. Um, but I think in in like seven and eight, everybody has been sort of dispersed all around the globe, and then everybody's story is kind of move back together so to get a chance to to work with all your colleagues and stuff like that on some like kind of bigger more elaborate sets it was sort of like um the coming together of all the great aspects of working on a show like this not only like the effects and the big sets but like these fantastic actors that you know uh you get a bit of FOMO like oh you guys are going off to do that thing or something like that and it was we all got to be on the same set at the same time over the course of several days and um that that was just like a lot of fun to do for me there's a scene where shaw played by kurt russell is being shown old home movies featuring lee his young himself you know is played by wyatt russell and in the camera blocking is where, you know, as, as, as Kurt steps into frame, there was a moment where he stepped into frame and the image of Wyatt was perfectly projected on his face. And it was just a test, thank goodness, because I shouted out because uh, it was the m- most wonderful effect. Uh, 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 just that, that, that you, the, it was just a perfect thing. And just as a fan, I was like, oh my God. Yeah, I, I would have blown a take. So that that was that was yeah. the most challenging. Well, I think it was. There were many. It's it's it was a huge epic undertaking, you know, and that there the the production challenges were legion, you know, and you know, and you know, visual effects and locations work and rigging actors and people on cables and explosions, a, explosions and everything and plane crashes and all that kind of stuff. But the, the really to me the most challenging pieces of it were those were mining those emotional moments and a couple of the big ones are yet to come in episodes you haven't seen yet. But it's really the 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 challenge for the actors, the vulnerable places they had to go to to mine those really raw moments of revealing themselves and the hurt and the trauma that they have suffered at the hands of other characters in the show. Those, those I think, are, are, are the most challenging things to see. <laughs> and crack! And smokestack! Yeah, I would hate to be too specific because there's so many surprises in the show. Um, and certainly sequences that involved humans and monsters are always challenging um, because uh, you're dealing with things that aren't there and you're trying to uh, create a world of imagination for the actors so they understand what will be there eventually and they can bring it to life and you want your camera operators and your cinematographer and everyone to know what will eventually be there so that it can have as much authenticity as possible so those are always the most challenging I think just from a practical filmmaking thing but you know 
whenever you're starting a new show and you're figuring out who these people are and building these characters, those are every moment is a is a wonderful conversation about who they are and how to build the characters. There's a there's a scene in like the last episode that I think is remarkable in the way that it, it hits this emotional moment that is like really in- intrinsic for the for the for the show and nobody's seen it yet and so I can't talk about it but but you you'll like it but uh, sort of in a similar vein like the, one of the scenes that like uh, you know uh, the the final scene of the first episode where we see you know a thing happen to Keiko. Um, it, it, it was this thing of like, okay, you're working on the visual effects, you're doing it in isolation, you know, you you work on it and you see all the the problems and the edges and everything, and then and then you 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 get it in there with the final sound mix and the and the the and the and then the audio and 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 the whole build up of the scene, and suddenly something like that really really works, and that was that was really incredible to see come together. Um, challenging scenes like that first scene in. Uh, uh, on Skull Island, the, that that location was awesome, but it was also really hard to shoot at. So you know, really heavy winds. Uh, we'd actually planned to shoot, you know, a completely different version of the scene, and while we were scouting, we couldn't find a scene that made any sense. And we were like, you know, if we want to do the scene the way it's written, we're gonna have shoot into a blue screen for half the time. And nobody wanted to do that. We want to go to locations and feel the locations and see the locations. So we completely pivoted and changed things, and you know we threw away previs and postvis and creature design that we had done, like a really cool creature, and just like completely reconceptualized it for the terrain that we were actually going to be in. Monarch was there in San Francisco. When the whole city was coming down, these guys were taking pictures. Like, they'd been waiting for it. You think that your father was working for them? This stuff was in a safe. Who are they? What's Monarch? There's a new this is the world we live in. Monsters are an inescapable reality. And it's just Those files belong to us, and they are more important than you could possibly imagine. This is gonna give me nightmares. Now you can choke down that monarch lie. About your father disappearing. Or we can find out what really happened. Before it's too late. This world, it's not ours. Believe me. It is so much more vast than we could possibly imagine. These monsters and Monarch have taken everything from me. No more. is on fire. If you want to save millions of lives, we can use some help. 